Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for a hot topic, and this is ad hoc committee inaugurated to probe CBN's anchor borrowers' ways and means. And joining us to have a conversation is Dr. Ibrahim Ostinowo, is a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council of 2014, 2019, and 2023. Good morning, Mr. Ibrahim. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, my sister. Nice to see you guys again. Good morning, sir. Oh, Welcome pleasure. to the program. Okay, so we're talking about an ad hoc committee so. um, being inaugurated. First, um, Nigeria's death profile is a lot. It has risen and it keeps rising every year, year in, year out, right? But then there's an ad hoc committee that's now been inaugurated to, you know, just check out our borrowing to ensure that the debt profile isn't going you know so much i want to believe but what do you think about the the setup of this committee and it being inaugurated in the first place and do you think this can actually help um to combat the borrowing that we have that is so much in nigeria uh just just joining that uh, taking into consideration the fact that the farmers uh, that are supposed to even have this uh uh, money to borrow this money and do their farms and all that did not get to see the money at all uh, but we still keep getting the money that we are saying we are giving to the farmers and it's not getting to them so would like your comment on it oh, okay um uh, debt management system in governance is not actually a big deal you know borrowing is allowed in any you know in any you know uh, democratic or even leadership setting um what i realized that um, is going on in nigeria is that we are always want to put blame on the present you know leadership of the country however governance is continuous um, i can agree with you that most of you know our leaders past leaders has borrowed you know recklessly on things that are you know not really really important in our country you know when you borrow on capital projects when you borrow on investments and the borrowing trickles down into the economy in terms of you know um, addressing the or attacking the major sector that are lacking or deficit sector that are lacking you know funding like agriculture manufacturing power and rail system these are you know reasons cogent reasons why you can you know you can borrow um however um the committee that was set up uh, by the national assembly i think it's, it's it's a you know good you know um peg in the right oh they have to look into the borrowing system. I don't really support borrowing recklessly, especially when we are even going into, you know, a deep red recession. Recession in the country, inflation is at all time high. But I believe the leadership of the country is, you know, is providing, you know, sound leadership to track all these things. You know, um, the committee. Let's wait for them. Let's see what they are coming up to do. Is a is a is a right, you know, thinking in the right direction. Mm, just to monitor what they are doing and ensure that you know uh, uh, any borrowing request from executive is thoroughly scrutinized. They have to check it. They have to look inward. They have to you know plan you know towards the future of this country. We are almost going to. We have a budget of twenty eight trillion in our hands. Are we borrowing? A, are we borrowing to fund the budget again? Um, I read in the newspaper yesterday that you know the federal government has accrued almost hundred billion from MDAs and ministries, you know, these are things that will support the budget, that will lower the, you know, the borrowing part of the government. But generally speaking, you know, the Ministry of Agri needs to look inward. How are the farmers receiving this, the um, support from federal government? Are farmers equipment being subsidized? You know, what are the security measures the government is providing for farmers in a rural community, like the Northeast, the Northwest, the North Central? You know we can't be hungry in this in this country we have fighter land you know we have one of the best soil in the world we can grow anything from benway to niger from niger to jaws jaws particularly has one of the best soil that can produce massive different foreign fruits in this country that will hand us even foreign currency so we need to protect the farmers we need to ensure that those farmers receive any budgeting uh, funds that they have uh, the, the, that the government have for them we need to develop, you know, a uh, direct strategy on how to mobilize and support these farmers. So I believe the government will come out, especially the Minister of Agriculture, uh, Senator Kerry, is going to come out one of the fantastic, you know, module of, you know, funding these um, um, rural farmer dwellers. 
So I believe the government will do one of the best, you know, uh, 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 funding process to ensure that those funds get into the right hand and in the rural community for them to go food for Nigeria. A lot is going on in the country. I agree with you. People are hungry. Things are expensive. But I believe that the leadership is working tirelessly, you know, to ensure that those farmers have funds to produce more crops for us, more food for us, you know, to feed in the country. So concerning the um, the committee, uh, yes, it's a good it's a good one. Let's see what they're going to come up with. Let's see their you know their uh, uh, committee strategy. Let's see what they are going to you know come up with in terms of recommendation, you know, inquiries and other things that you know going on in, in you know in the funding portfolio of the country, in the borrowing portfolio of the country. If you were to advise, what would you tell them? Because Uncle Bora's program was supposed to make the farmers have money to plant. By now, we should have been uh, in abundance of food. But we, we didn't get to see this money get to them and all that. That's why there is this probe. Uh, some of them, sometimes they said that the farmers themselves borrowed the money and did not return, all, all kinds of things. But the bulk of the farmers didn't see this money. Sub, uh, sub, subsidy that you were talking that maybe the, if they subsidized and all that, a lot of farmers didn't see at all, especially in the south. I don't know about it in the north, but I, especially in the south, they didn't see at all. So if you were to recommend uh, one of the things, at least, that will make this program a success in future, because I'm not, I'm not hoping that they are going to stop a program. Maybe the name will change, mm. the dynamics will change and all that. But what will you recommend that they do so that it would be a success. Um, in 2015, let me let me quickly recap this. In 2015, I was a commissioner in the state, and I'm part of the well, with Professor Akin uh, Akin uh the former the then minister for agriculture. We're part of the team. That team was that was like the best. That was that's his personal opinion, but that was like the best uh, minister for agriculture that I remember because in his time. Farm inputs and everything got to the villages that we never expected it will get to. I don't know the experiences of other places, but I know of my village, which is very remote, and things got to where they should go to. So if we are using that at a, as a yardstick, I don't know. But after that, we didn't see much about. You about you've not problem. allow me. To, you know. You know. Allow me to land on my thoughts. I needed to you know, commend you your time. I needed to commend your time. You say you were part of it when he wasn't mm. at the helm. That's why I said that. Mm. Mm. I, I'm, I'm just trying to give you a simple background of, you know, how, you know, leadership can be provided when it comes to when you are ready for leadership. Yeah. Uh, leadership can be provided, you know, when you are in a position of authority to lead and the patriotism, you know, enhancement of the country is one of the top agenda of yours, then you can perform. Mm. Now, I'm giving you a background on uh african leadership you know summit and especially on agricultural fertilization and funding as at that time uh most i think about 12 of us were in angola were in uh, zambia well, then singapore and the rest of it what are the human objective our human objective back then was to ensure that we produce what we eat and we eat what we produce and how do we do all these things the recommendation to federal government at that time is that we need a uh, farm community. Farm community in Singapore means that each state we have a farm community. And like a local government will be caged for a community. You will have your primary care center there. You will have a police station there. You will have a primary school there. You will have a secondary school there. Farmers will produce in mass. They will have what they call preservation systems. Most of this community, for instance, let's use equally local government. If it's, it's a farm community, what the federal government is doing is that they will have the statistics of the farmers producing crops, producing uh, cassava, producing, you know, a food and the rest of them, or producing or, um, producing rice. What they will do is to fund the community. The community will become an association. The association will get the funds. They know their, their members. They know what their target, the target the federal government will give them in a year or per season. They will produce, sell to the federal government, sell, sell, sell to the state government. They sell, send subsidy to the to the to the farmers. The federal government will send subsidy to the farmers directly. And I believe Dr. Kiyomi makes that work. Most farmers has mobile numbers. Most farmers yeah. has mobile phone yeah. where they can get their transaction alert, where they can get tips and trainings. You know, 
if a farmer has produced an excess of yam tubers, for instance, you can have the off-takers from anywhere in the state, from another community. And at that time, you realize that a lot of people are shipping for, uh, yams, yam tubers outside the country. Mm. A lot of cassavas were, you know, being produced locally, and farmers are happy. I believe we can go back to that. Mm. I believe this administration can also do very, very, very well in terms of, you know, ensuring that those funds those subsidies gets to, you know, farmers. I understand what's going on. The last administration tried its best, but the best is not enough in terms of, you know, supporting, you know, agricultural and agro-business in this country. It has been, you know, a calamity where the Nigeria population of over 250 million could not produce what we eat. So I believe the government has a lot of things to do in the agricultural sector. I have, you know, you know, uh, you know, scrutinize the budget of Minister of Agri. And I can see that the vision, the president has a very big vision for Minister of Agri. Now, the next phase is implementation. What are they putting forward? What are the risk analysis? What are the enterprises model of dispatching funds to the farmers? How are the farmers getting these funds? Then at the same time, don't end that when you give farmers funds, they have to pay you back in cash. It's not necessarily so. You can give them funds and they pay back in produce. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Mm -hmm. They pay back in produce. That's where the federal government needs to have what we call the food bank. The food bank means that if there's going to be a central food bank in Akwaibo, for instance, where most of the community and farmers can go and sell. If they don't have off taker, they can go back and repay their loan through this product to the federal government. Anywhere in the world, go to Canada, go to UK, any subsidy to farmers, the aim and objective of the of the government is not to recover the funds. They can recover the funds through so many things. When you have excess food in the population, it will naturally reduce in, in, in inflation. It, it naturally reduce unemployment. It naturally reduce a lot of things, you know, uh, for citizenry. So okay. I believe that this government needs to do more. This particular okay. minister of agriculture needs to do extraordinary. Um, I give it. Kudos to my dear friend, uh, the governor of um, uh, Niger State. Um, yeah, he's doing it fantastically well in terms of forecasting what the future holds. He just imported uh, almost about 2,000 2, um, tractors. Tractors is not enough. That's a good start, but tractors is not enough. If you have 2,000 tractors, who is going to use them? What section of agricultural produce are they targeting? What is the land, you know, uh, max community are you building? Who is going to fund these farmers? When you fund them, how do you monitor them? What are the risk implications of this you know, farming process? The equipment, what are the management and maintenance process are you, you know, giving out to them? Yes, John Deere is doing fantastically well. But Nigeria has always carried away with all this uh, John Deere, John Deere. When you go to Ghana, for instance, John Deere has not performed credibly well. Most of their products, they don't have a good maintenance. So I will have asked Nigerian government to have various chains of, you know, agricultural, you know, mechanized agricultural manufacturers mm. who produce so many equipment, like harvesters, like grillers, like a preservation machines, and the rest of this. When you produce tomato, you have to preserve them. When you produce, you know, um, okay. Uh, All right. <laughs> it's yes. And ensure that Hello, sir. the anchor is not a bad idea. I want to mm. say emphatically. Yeah. Okay, bad thank bad you. It's it's good that uh, we so can put a face. It's good that we can put a face to one of the people who made it happen because I've always said it that in the time of our uh, Kiyomi Adeshino, uh, things really worked well. I hope that uh, the government will go to that template and even yes. make it better now. But uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately, we've run out of time. We'd like to thank you thank for you. being a part of the program today. Yeah. Mm. You're always welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank nice you so to much. see yeah. you guys. Yeah. Yes. All right, we've been speaking with Dr. Ibrahim Osinawa, is a member of the APC Presidential Campaign Council of 2014, 2019, and 2023. And we've just been talking about the ad hoc committee that has been inaugurated to probe the CBN's anchor borrowing ways and means. We'll go on a short break, and when we return, we'll be looking at our next hot topic. Please stay with us.